Alright, what's up guys? It's KE Central here and I'm back with some more awesome, amazing, great Kingdom Hearts 2 news for you guys today. Sorry there was no video yesterday. Um, I was just busy with other things. You know, school was started this week and I was just caught up in that. And, you know, I just needed some time off to do some stuff, so that's what I did. I'll probably make two videos today to make up for because there's another thing I want to talk about. But let's talk about this real quick because I think it's really cool and kind of catch it up with yesterday. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So, let me first talk about the stuff that happened today because there's not really that much to it, but it's still really awesome regardless. So, let's get that out of the way. Um, so, if you remember a couple days ago, um, Nomura said that they were going to be doing some videos for the 13-day uh, countdown that they're doing for the release over there in Japan. Originally, they were doing quotes, you know, with the various characters in the game. But now we're going to get these, like, little videos to go along with the countdown. Now, we didn't really know what they were going to be before. Um, we were just kind of speculating. All we knew is that Tetsuya Nomura said that they were adorable and they weren't being made by Square Enix. But we got our first one of them today. Um, you know, six days left to go. Holy fucking shit. Um, but, yeah, here it is. So, as you can tell, right there, um, there's not really that much to it. Um, it's just like a little animated 10 second video of my console from Monsters Inc. going up to the camera and, you know, just being all cute and adorable in that little animated thing. Um, so, I really like this. I think it's really cool what they're doing here. Um, it's not initially what I thought it was going to be. You know, I thought these videos were going to be like um, just like news videos, showing off some new gameplay, new announcements, something like that. Really, really big stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm guessing it's just going to be like little animated things of each of the worlds. And, you know, it's going to be a new one every day, obviously. So today we got Monsters Inc. and tomorrow we make it Toy Story or something like that. So I'm really excited to see what they're going to be doing with this. It's not initially what I thought it was going to be, and I guess that's kind of disappointing. But it's still a really cute little thing. She's, you know, go along with the countdown here. They are adorable. I agree with you, Nomura. So I'm really excited to see what all they have for this. I think it's going to be really awesome to see. And of course, Nomura left a message alongside this tweet. There's no news in it, but I just want to read it because it's kind of funny. Um, so it says, six days to go. Video countdown starts today. That's the announcement. Hey, it's the weekend, okay? The week has the hotel, the billboards, the two-minute cinematic, the CD release, lots of stuff. More to report next week, too. Look forward to it. Nomura. Oh my god, I love this tweet. You know, it's just him pretty much saying, hey, it's the fucking weekend. I need a break. I had the cinematic this week. I had the billboards. I had the fucking a CD release. I need a fucking break. It's the weekend. Leave me alone. Um, so I, I love Nomura so much. He's so funny. But let's move on to stuff that happened yesterday. You know, the stuff that I missed. So, of course, there was another celebration tweet yesterday. You know, yesterday was seven days away. And, of course, there was also a quote alongside it as well. And here it is up on the screen right here. Um, so you can see it's obviously from Sora. And it says, you're wrong. My heart is strong. It seems like we get two little snapshots of the game that we haven't released before as well. The, you know, Sora holding his Keyblade. Maybe the Keyblade Graveyard. I don't know where that is. And also, S Sora holding out his hand to someone. I think that one may be from the ending itself. I don't think it's necessarily a spoiler. It's just kind of a snapshot from it. I say that because, you know, it kind of looks like it's rendered in that opening movie quality. Just a little bit more detail and stuff like that. Um, that's just kind of what I see. You know, the rest of the game almost looks as good as that opening movie. So, I may be wrong on that. Who knows? But that's just kind of what I see. And it's from this picture. And also, it's kind of similar to what happened at the ending of Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, where Kyrie reached out her hand. Sora, you're saying you're home and stuff like that. So, it may be alluding to that kind of scene. So, that may be what's going on. I don't know. That's just kind of my speculation. But moving on from that, we got some awesome new screenshots yesterday as well. Showing off some of the um, Remy mini game. You know, the cooking stuff. The Moogle shop. And one from Monstropolis as well, which I think is really cool. So, let's look into that. So, let's first look at that Remy mini game because, ooh. There's some spiteful subtext if you look deep into it. I'm getting to that in a second. Um, so the first screenshot right here is obviously of Sora cutting up something. It seems like onions or lettuce. And um, there's a little icon next to him with a knife and an L. So I'm guessing you just press the L button and then Sora cuts up stuff. I'm guessing that's what you do through the entire mini game. Just press buttons. Sora does stuff until you finish the dish. So that's seeming like what it's going to be. This next one is obviously a menu and it's showing the different recipes you can unlock. This is grouped into separate categories like entrees, desserts, um, poisons, stuff like that. Um, and I'm guessing you just unlock certain uh, recipes by collecting ingredients and unlocking the way to make those things um, because they, they didn't unlock much in this thing. You know, it just has to unlock. There's a lot of question marks beside these, so they have a long way to go. But, you know, I guess what you're doing for this is that you go around the world getting different ingredients and um, you go back to the Remy shop and he says, hey, you can make this real recipe now when you want to do it and you do it and you unlock it and get certain power-ups. Next, we have a little recipe card showing the stuff that you need to make the recipe or the dish, you know, on the side right there, it shows those 
three things and what's in your inventory of it because it goes from 10 to 9. Then there's a plate with a question mark in the middle right there where a picture should be. So I'm guessing once you unlock the recipe, you could see what you're making. And then obviously, um, they haven't unlocked this one yet since they have question marks all over the place. And I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know what all this stuff says. So... I guess we'll have to wait and see what all this stuff says when we actually start playing the game. And next we have a picture of the finished dish itself. It looks like it's some sort of tomato soup with some flowers in it. I really don't know. I can't speak Japanese, so I don't know what that stuff at the bottom says. And then there's a three-star rating up at the top, so you get a rating for how good you made the dish, how well you pressed the buttons and twisted the controller, I guess that's what I mean. So I'm guessing it's going to be pretty easy. But that seems pretty cool. And finally, we get a picture of how you collected the ingredients for the thing itself. So you can see there's Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and Arendelle, and there's some Japanese text at the bottom. And that says, it seems like there's an ingredient nearby. So I guess Donald or Goofy um, says, like, hey, there's an ingredient nearby, and you're going to go search for it, and you get whatever it is. You know, they just call out whenever that happens. And the reason I'm saying it's spiteful is because if you've been paying close attention to how this stuff works, um, it's very, very similar to the Final Phase 15 cooking game down to the whole layout of the menu and the recipes and stuff like that and how your party members call out where certain ingredients are that's what Ignis did in the game so it's very very similar to that so maybe what's going on here is that he's very spiteful for being kicked off Final Phase 15 the game that he worked on for so long and this is kind of his way of showing revenge or showing that he what he wanted to do with the thing um so maybe that's what's going on here I don't know, but I just think that's kind of funny. Next, we get our first look of what the Moogle shop looks like. So here it is up in the screen right here. You can see the Moogle icon there at the bottom right there. Um, and you can, I guess, buy ingredients from the Moogle shop as well. That's what it seems like right here. And it says fill up there. So you're buying all that stuff or maybe selling. Who knows? You can do that both on there. So we'll have to see on that. And this is kind of just standard stuff right here. It seems like, you know, it's just, just a Moogle shop. But it's cool to see our first look at it. Next, we get a screenshot from Monstropolis, and it seems like it's some, in some sort of office, it seems like. And there's a, a little objective over there saying, get something. Um, I'm guessing it may be another ingredient, you know, maybe you can, like, make a certain objective to find an ingredient in the world, like in a menu or something like that. The other thing I want to point out in this screenshot is that look at fucking Goofy right there. Look at that look he's giving him. That is, that is the look of stank right there. That is a stank stare right there. <laughs> That's really funny. And finally, we get to see some screenshots of some uh, selfie mode pictures taken in the game. So here's one from Twilight Town. Um, there's Sora right there in front of the clock tower on the dock. And yo, there's so much more to this town in this game than ever before. I'm really excited to explore Twilight Town even more. This is such an interesting place. Next, we got one in the Toy Story world, you know, with him and Buzz and Woody right there. You know, they're doing their whole pose and things like that. And then another one in Monstropolis with Mike and Sully and... That's pretty much it for the screenshots. So that's all I want to talk about you guys in this video. This video is going on long enough. So tell me down in the comments below what you think about this news right here. What do you think about the little animated things they're doing for the countdown? Now, do you think they're cool? Are you excited to see what else they're going to do with them? Um, what do you think about the Remy Mini game? Do you think it's really similar to the Final Fantasy 15 one? Do you think that's who is being very spiteful? And you know, just about the other screenshots in general. Tell me down in the comments below what you think about this. Also, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Twitter because that would be really awesome if you did. This is been KH Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye!